Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about attacks on digital signature. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the basic understanding about digital signature. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to do today's class, the first one is key only attack. In our last class, we discussed that digital signature is done using asymmetric key means private public keys public key is available to everyone to verify the signature so key only attack means because public key is available using that key is there a way to forgery the signature if you have that way then we call it as key only attack so if we have access to public key using key we need to find ways to create signature that is what we call it as key only attack and we already discussed in our previous classes uh, given public key identifying the private key is it possible no it is not possible if you use a longer keys means uh, if your key size is of a uh, size 1024 bits it is very very impossible the problem is logarithmic problem so if you if you are going to use large keys it is not possible coming to the second one says so the second technique is known message attack means somehow you are having access to the previously used messages and signatures suppose if i say if i send a message if i send five messages to some x person for each message i am going to do signature for each message i am going to do signature by accessing those message signature pairs you need to find a way to identify the logic behind the signature if you are able to identify that way then we call it as known message attack this is very very similar to known plain text attacks which we have done in cryptography during symmetric and asymmetric key encryption decryption known message known plain text attack the next one is a chosen message attack this is very much similar to the chosen plain text attack means you choose the message and somehow you are having access to the owner and you take the signature from him suppose in which situations this is possible the lawyers that are near to you they had that access to your signature they can choose the their own messages and ask you to do the signature these are the cases which is possible where chosen message attack you choose the message and take the signature from your owner based on the chosen message and signature pairs try to identify the signature logic if that is the case then we call it as chosen message attack these are the ways which is possible which is attacks on digital signatures are possible whether this is uh, possible for your technique or not it depends on your technique complexity so whenever you are going to design the digital signature techniques these are the things you have to keep in mind and try to improve the complexity to overcome these attacks that is how you have to design the digital signature technique now coming to the next one forgery types these are two types of forgery techniques types existential forgery and selective forgery what's this mean existential forgery means they, you have identified a valid message signature pair but not the one re really useful with example you are going to get clarity give 10k to Mohan this is the actual message for this message you generate the owner generated a signature MMKKY this is the signature that is generated for this message so this is the actual message this is the signature we are showing it in characters assume that this is in uh, digits means binary numbers see so somehow you have used some technique and identify the message 
which is giving the same signature see mohan trees gadgets it is also giving the same signature m m k k y but the message is not useful instead of mes this message can you send this message no you cannot send this message because this is not meaningful instead of this message if you somehow identify a message which is meaningful to this suppose give 50k to mohan it is also if the message which you have taken valid message it is also giving the same signature then it it will be helpful otherwise it is not helpful so identifying this type we call it as existential forgery using this type of forgery it won't affect your affect you the second one is selective forgery means able to forgery on selective messages means uh, identifying meaningful messages if you identify a meaningful messages that are giving the same signature then it is going to be very very difficult we cannot allow this selective forgery techniques so these are the two types of forgery types hope you understand the basics on attacks and forgery types of on digital signature if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you